let's welcome Amra. He's a co-founder of uh, Mises Mongolia organization and uh, since 2008 and translated many books and essays and one of the activists and uh, uh, renowned stand-up comedian in Mongolia. <laughs> Uh, uh, protest. We, we don't have law for only one person. We have law for two and more, more persons. And you can go, and, yeah, I, I think it's uh, legally uh, possible, I think so. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, good afternoon everyone. It's nice to see you all in UB. Yay! Chris Lingle and Lee. Christopher, uh, yeah, Chris and Ken and Lee and we are meeting uh, UB. It's it's very nice to meet you here, and welcome again. And I'm a last speaker of uh, Liberty International World Conference. Yeah, I will try to make a kiss. I mean, keep it short and simple. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will happy to share my experience to using non-traditional tools for spreading ideological knowledge. Okay. Yeah. My early childhood uh, spent in socialist time. I, rem I remembered uh, that how rare I got sweets only for holidays and celebration. It was a very hard time. And just after socialist time, uh, we have a democratic revolution. Uh, before my school years, Mongolia transferred to democracy. And democracy opened freedom doors in many platforms. Then in uh, 2006, I was read one book. It's uh, Making of Modern Economics, written by uh, Mark Skosen, which uh, was my turning point. That's how I started my libertarian journey, and it gave me clear view to see and analyze our society and economics. Yeah. Uh, then I became more aware of state policy and economic, economic situation of the country. We can see that uh, as a country, we need to work on many things. Uh, in terms of freedom, we are a free country. Mongolia is a very free country in polit uh, political freedom. Uh, but uh, in economic freedom, uh, we are mostly unfree country. In 2019, we ranked in 126th. It's uh, mostly unfree uh, country in economics. Uh, which, uh, yeah, and uh, we know that uh, that main case of weak and fringle economy is the state itself, which limits free markets and econo free economy. The uh, problems and causes uh, is the main cause of current situations are the government gets bigger and bigger day by day. And people expect that states should solve all problems like magician and that makes government more big and expensive. The government playing main role of business sectors which makes a fair competition impossible. People don't have proper knowledge of free markets and free society and libertarian knowledge is too academic and political for the public. Yeah, and uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, in uh, that uh, causes we started in Mrs. Mongolia NGO established it in 2016, and our uh, our uh, vision is society that based on freedom and free market values, and our mission is awareness raising fundamental values of. Uh, Austrian economic school and free market and classical liberalism. And we are doing uh, many things, uh, conferences and trainings, workshops, meetings and lectures. 
and summer trainings, online awareness, yeah, and publications. We are uh, publishing many books, yeah, and lectures, and like that things. In the same time, we understood it is important to send our message in effective way. So I decided to uh, use creative ways such as uh, art uh, medium for connecting with the people, raises awareness on free market. Why I choose art? Because I believe in attractive, interactive, communicable, accessible, no need to academic or special uh, skills to understand. Okay. Okay, now it's an uh, interesting part. Okay, first, uh, first uh, I share my, my uh, uh, first example. It's an uh, artistic thing. Uh, I was a, a, a participant of a Contemporary Art of Mongolia III. Uh, which was opened in 2015. Yeah, I make one installation art. It makes uh, uh, this installation art name is paper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I give uh, uh, to message this installation uh, how, why. Um, how money became in, uh, invaluable because of incorrect policy of Mongolian, cent uh, Mongolian Central Bank. And, uh, okay, I will show you some pictures. And uh, this, uh, uh, this installation have a three part. One is the uh, uh, currency road, and it made real currency of Mo uh, Mongolia. And it's cheaper than printing, uh, uh, col uh, color printing. And I give some price from a printing company. It's, it's uh, more expensive than uh, doing real uh, Mongolian currency. And people walk uh, on, on currency and they, uh, uh, they see one, uh, how to say, uh, one uh, uh, hole. And you can see one thing. And yeah, people see that, that hole and like this hole. And you can see the uh, picture of Mongolian uh, Central Bank's president face and Mongolian Central Bank's logo. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, one of the challenging thing, thing was uh, people can't step on, on Mongolian uh, uh, currency because people think that Currency is the very valuable and really holy thing. That's why people can't step on, on currency. And uh, I, I make a, a road by currency and that's why people have to step on currency. And I give uh, to message to people, money is just pepper and all. And all. It's, it's nothing, just holy thing, it, it's not a uh, goddess thing, it's just paper. If they print many paper, it will, uh, value will uh, in, uh, increase. Like that. I, I give uh, to this uh, uh, interactive installation art, uh, I give some like this message to people. Yeah. And second one is, uh, of course, stand-up comedy. I'm doing some stand-up comedy. You can see my T-shirt, yeah? Who is John Galt? <laughs> and yeah, stand maybe it's hard to imagine that how stand-up comedy became tool for empower pop, uh, people by economic knowledge. But I felt that is the one of the most successful uh, way to spread to message. And stand-up comedy is very popular in Mongolia now. And I will show you one uh, thing. You can see this video. And uh, this video which uh, reached about 
3 million views on Facebook. And do you know Mongolian population? Mongolian population is only 3 million and on, uh, already viewed 1.3 million already views on Facebook. Yeah. So, uh, from this process I learned that uh, uh, it is important and effective to make information very simple, easy to understand, relatable and interesting, also funny. It, it's, it's very important, I understand. And briefly I tried to uh, make it more simple and relatable to people's life. And I, I would like to finish my presentation by uh, these words. Art, freedom and creativity will change society faster than politicians. Victor Pinchak. Do you know Victor Pinchak? Yeah. He's uh, one of the oligarchy of uh, Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. My presentation is finished and do you have any questions? <laughs> It's very fast, yeah. <laughs>